Wanted to give a quick update on the rice diet um, and answer some of the questions, the comment questions that I get in the comment section. Uh, this shouldn't be a very long video, hopefully, because, you know, whatever. Uh, so I have been, it, this actually didn't even start out as the rice diet. It just kind of like morphed into the rice diet. So I, I originally was just going to do potatoes and rice only for like two weeks and see if I could kind of reset my palate, basically, because I, I got a little bit addicted to the fake meat. And, you know, I've seen a, actually a couple of two or three people like make like videos about that video of my my confession. I was having maybe 20 or 30 grams of fat a day. I mean, like, like come on, you know, and, and most days I wasn't even having that much. I, I, I think it's getting blown out a little out of her proportion in this small little community that we have uh, built here. But anyways, it has morphed into something of a rice diet with potatoes basically because now i'm having fruit fruit juice i haven't really been adding sugar to anything and then rice and potatoes and last night i had only uh potatoes the night before that i only had rice uh and then fruit so you know digestion a lot of people ask about digestion on rice there are certain things that if you're not doing with rice, probably your digestion is going to be a little off. So if you don't have a rice cooker, go get a rice cooker. Use my link. Send me a little money and we'll be on our way. But if you don't want to do that, um, soak it before you cook it. You know, so, so, soak it. I, I've seen soaking up to, up to 4 to 24 hours. It's no different than potatoes. Like, you really should be soaking your potatoes for like an hour because it gets rid of that slimy starch. Uh, in the water and then when you cook it, it it's it tastes it tastes a lot better so you know either way no matter what starch you're really using uh, you know uh, you know like fresh corn i don't think you gotta to um you know soak that or anything like that but if it's a dry dry grain uh, a lot of the time soaking it is you know something that that's really good for you now another thing that you can do is actually rinse you you really should be rinsing your rice and a lot of people try to fight me with that in the comment section like asians have been washing their rice for like thousands of years i don't know i don't know why all of a sudden this is something that you shouldn't be doing it's a thing you know like there's like this this starchy dust on on the rice and the reason that the asians started taking off the brown bran is because it's not that digestible like we like what other seed do you leave the husk on i don't know why i don't know why i don't know why anybody would eat brown rice do it if you really feel the need to i have no idea what the hell that's all about i guess because it's the most edible of all the the husks of of a seed i don't know you know it's kind of like I'm, I'm sure some people do it. It's like eating a banana with the peel on it. I mean, I'm sure you can do it. I don't know why you would. So that is my little rant on that one. For, for the rice, for digestibility, soak it for like four hours or so. Uh, rice cooker, rice cooker, rice cooker. Go check it out. Like that is the only way I will eat rice. I, I, I've tried it. I've tried the Instant Pot. I tried the pot on the stove. Not as good. Uh, you know, it's just not as good. And I don't care what you say. Some people are like, well, no, you got to boil it. No, rice cooker. Sorry. Uh, so that is that as far as digestibility. Another thing with digestibility is the more simple, the better. Like literally just ate potatoes last night. And the night before that, literally just had rice with a little bit of, uh, what, what did I have? I think I had ketchup. <laughs> And, and like uh, a little bit of Japanese barbecue sauce on the rice. Like I am simple. I like we have gone straight up simple. All right. That helps a lot, a lot. If you got like 15, 20 different ingredients. Now I know there's different ingredients in the ketchup. But, you know, I'll beat you to the chase. I understand that. But the ingredients it really matters. Like if you're somebody who has a, a, a digestion issues, the amount of ingredients that you eat, it matters. It really does. If you're somebody who can eat whatever they feel like and have great digestion, it doesn't matter. So like you're one or the other, right? Like, and maybe you might be like that great digestion person on Monday and on Tuesday, you're not. So like, you, you really got to figure that out, right? So if you are having issues with that, like I just ate bananas right before I made this video. Dip, bananas, dip. Not with the peel on it. I don't know why people leave the peel on, on rice, but they do. Simple, simplicity. 
It really helps quite a bit. Now, I have not been making my own fruit juices. I buy them at Trader Joe's. Get mad if you need to. Yes, they're pasteurized. Yes, they are. I, I don't know what to tell you. They are pasteurized, and that's it. Uh, so, that, I mean, that's really it. I, it's, it's really been the, the rice diet with potatoes. Now, the reason he used rice was because of, I guess there's more protein in potatoes, and he thought that it was more palatable uh, to eat white rice than it was potatoes. The judgment's up in the air for that. I have not been obeying the sodium thing that he was talking about. Even he and other doctors that work with him said it is not good to go as low in sodium as he was recommending. I think it was like 100 uh, milligrams. He said that you should be under some kind of watch of a doctor if you're going to be going that low in sodium. I'm going to go with him. He's the doctor. He made the whole thing. We're going to listen to him. So I'm not going down that low, right? I, I saw an interview with Dr. Neelan, who also worked with uh, Kempner. And I think he said like 1,500 milligrams a day or less is like, you know, do, fine. I've also been uh, seller sizing. So also got a link selling everything today. Down below, go check it out in the description section. Amazing, amazing thing. I've had mine for 10 years now. Got it in 2014, it's 2024 somehow. So I, I do that for like 20 to 30 minutes. Today was like 35 minutes. And then at night after I'm done working, I go out for a walk. Last night was like an hour walk. Uh, sometimes it's half hour, sometimes an hour and a half, whatever. I just go for a walk. I've been testing out uh, new Zero Shoes sandals. It's, um, so, yes. I think that's everybody's question as far as like the brown rice thing, man. It really comes up. People really want to like want their brown rice. I don't know why. I don't know why. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. It was known as peasant's rice in Asia. Like, <laughs> uh. Anyway, I think that's it. I think that's it. I mean, it's, it's really simple. Like if you're adding, and I like vegetables, I cut vegetables out and notice a huge, I cut vegetables out three, two or three days ago and my digestion is noticeably better. Noticeably better. Am I a vegetable hater? No. Am I an oxalate believer? No. Am I somebody who has a hard time digesting vegetables for some reason? Yes, I, I don't know. Pro I don't know whatever. It's weird because when I get it from my father who grows all this stuff, I don't have that hard of a, a time digesting it. But when I get it, maybe because it's irradiated or whatever in the store, I just can't digest it as well. So I'm just, uh, I've been staying away. It's literally just been condiments, which is my sugar, uh, fruit, fruit juice, and rice and potatoes. It's been great. Have I lost weight? I don't know. I'm going to do a weigh in on Sunday, which is what, two five days from now or something like that. And I'm going to do a recap. Now, I have not done a whole lot of videos <laughs> of this whole thing. I've not really documented it very well. That's on me, I guess. But I mean, how much of this can you watch? How many, how many times can you watch somebody cooking rice and cooking potatoes, eating potatoes, eating rice, uh, fruit, all that kind of stuff? How many, I mean, how many times can you do that? I, I, I don't know. I sound irritated. Maybe I am. I don't know. <laughs> uh, life is strange but um yeah let's keep it simple like if you've got these digestion issues eyes went black there that was freaky um if you've got digestion issues just keep it simple like i'm literally literally just ate potatoes last night now it was like five pounds of potatoes which is a lot but it came out in the morning so Simplicity to everything, really. Every facet of life, the more simple you keep it, the better it is. That is my video. I kept it under 10 minutes. Congratulations. Pat myself on the back. Anyway, yeah, I'm in a strange mood. Uh, comments, questions down below. Like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next one.